What the archaic revival is going to have to mean, if it has teeth, is a re-empowering of the individual and a consequent lowering of the, of the profile of institutions, especially government. We need to think about these things because we have bought into the idea that we have to serve and behave and be enslaved else chaos will engulf the world. We need to carry out our analysis of the situation to the point where we can embrace chaos and see that chaos is the environment in which we all thrive. If we continue as we have, then, you know, we're doomed. And the judgment of some higher power on that will be, they didn't even struggle, you know? They went to the boxcars with their suitcases and they didn't even struggle. This is too nightmarish to contemplate. We're talking about the fate of a whole planet. Why are people so polite? Why are they so patient? Why are they so forgiving of gangsterism and betrayal? Uh, it's very difficult to understand. I believe it's because the dominator culture is increasingly more and more sophisticated in its perfection of subliminal mechanisms of control. And I don't mean anything grandiose and paranoid. I just mean that through press releases and sound bites and the enforced idiocy of television, uh, the, the, the drama of a dying world has been turned into a soap opera for most people. And they don't understand that it's, it's their story and that they will eat it in the final act if somewhere between here and the final act they don't stand up on their hind legs and howl. So this whole uh, effort to bring the psychedelic experience back into prominence is an effort to empower individuals and to get them to see that we are bled of our authenticity by vampirish institutions that will never of their own accord leave us alone. There must be a moment when the machinery and the working of the machinery becomes so odious that people are willing to stride forward and throw sand on the track and uh, force a reevaluation of the situation. And it's not done through organizing, it's not done through vanguard parties or cadres of intellectual elites. It's done through just walking away from all of that. Claiming your identity, claiming your vision, your being, your intuition, and then acting from that without regret, cleanly, without regret.